Now let's see the code for pre order. So let's say I have a tree. So we know that in case of pre order, first we visit the root, then I traverse the left subtree, then we traverse the right subtree. So let's say, let's try to write the code for pre order. So the very first thing that we get is as a parameter is the pointer to this particular root. And what will be the base condition? So let's say I'm traversing the tree. So I traverse this node, I print this node, then I print this node, then I print this node. And then when I do left child, go to left child of this particular node, I encounter null. So I won't be doing anything, I will just be returning. So this will be my base condition that if we encounter that root is equal to equal to null, we should return. We don't want to do any process on the root term. Now we know that in the case of pre-order, the very first thing that we do is we print the value of that particular node. So I print root. So after I have printed the root, I know that I have to traverse the left subtree. So this is again a new subtree that I have to traverse. How do I traverse it? By passing a pointer to this particular node. And how do I get access to that particular node? By going to left of root. This will go to this particular node. Now let's see the code till now. So let me put statement numbers. So what happens is, let's say we know that each root will be pushed in tag. So the very first function that will be in this tag will be main. And after this particular root is called, this particular parameter is passed with pre order. This is pushed in the stack. So, what happens is that one, when this is done, pre order roots left, then root left is the new root and that is pushed on the stack. And not only this, so when this is pushed on the stack, one more thing is stored here is the next instruction. Actually, next instruction that has to be executed when this particular recursion has been completed. So we know that after this particular node calls this node. So we know that after this particular tree has been traversed, it might happen that there is something that has to be done with this node root. So let's say this is statement number 5. So we put 5 here, which means that after this particular recursion is finished, is completed, these are the instructions that has to be executed. So the very next instruction that has to be executed is in statement number 5. So let's see what will be 5 before we let's try to understand the code till now. So we know that we get a root, we print the root. So initially our root was 1, I print 1. Again, okay. I do pre-order root left. So I call pre-order on the left chart of this particular root. So my new root will be 2. So let's come here. Is this root null? No. So it will print the root. It will print 2. Now it will again call the left subtree. Pre order on the left subtree. So it will do pre order root left. 3 will be pushed in the start. And we know that in this case also, after this particular, the left subtree of this particular node has been executed. There has to be some instruction, there might be some instruction, it is not necessary, but there might be some instruction that has to be executed. So, I store that it's instruction number 5 that has to be executed when this particular subtree has got executed. So, in this case, it is 4, because the left child is 4. Now, again, now my new root is 4. Uh, 4. I check if root is equal to 4 to none. No. So, I print the root. I print 4. Now I again got root left and I put the next instruction that has to be executed after the recursion is complete. Now we know that the left side of this particular node is null. So I push null here. Let's say I put push null here and 
we check if root is equal to null, return. Since null is, uh, root is null, this will be popped from the stack. And now my root is 4. And what I have to do? I have to execute whatever statement is there at line number 5. And what are the instructions? So let's see what will be at 5. So now, according to pre order, first I traverse the root, print the root, then I traverse the left subtree, and then I traverse the right subtree. So we know that here that I have already printed the root, I have traversed the left subtree. Now I have to traverse the right subtree. So how will I traverse that? By passing the root of the right subtree. Right over here. And this is all I have to do. Now, my root is at 4. I know that I will be calling pre order root right. And since I have already executed the statement, the statement number here will get updated. So since already this is this is already executed, so what is the next statement that will get executed after this particular recursion has finished? It will be statement number six. So it will be sixteen. So again, I go to pre order root right. So what is the right child of four? It is null. So we check if root is equal to equal to null return. So again there will be null popped off and that will be popped off. Now I come back to this particular root. This will be our new root. So I come back to 4. Again, I check what is the instruction that I have to include. Okay, so this is the line number 6 is the instruction that I have to include. But since this is the end of the statement and there are no further instructions that have to be executed, so 4 will be popped out. Okay, this is the way of a stack. Let us try to do it simultaneously with a recursion tree of that we have seen in our uh, recursion class. So it goes from here, first 1 is printed, then 2 is printed, then 4 is printed, and now 2 is the root that we are executing till now, right now. So now, what will happen? The root is 2, and I have to execute statement number 5. So, what is statement number 5? It is pre order root right, which makes sense because I have already printed the value of 2, I have processed the subtree of 2. Now I have to process the right subtree. So I come here. I go to pre order root right. Now my new root is 5. So let me put 5 on the stack. And again, here the statement number gets uh, updated. Since I have already executed this statement, what will be the next statement that has to be executed? It is 6. So here my statement gets executed. And when I push 5, so let's see what happens. So I, my root is 5, I print the root, which is 5. Okay, this is print root data. Okay, I missed to write data. So this will be printing roots data. Now I call pre order root left. So what is the root left? Null. So null will be pushed on the stack, and the statement that ha it has to execute will be line number 5. After this, recursion is complete. Since null is the base condition, null is removed, and this particular statement number 5 gets executed. Pre order root right. What is root right? Null. Again, null is returned. And before uh, pushing null, this particular thing gets updated to 6 because I have already executed statement number 5. Now I have to execute statement number 6. Since null is returned, it comes to 6. And since there are no further statements to be executed, this 5 is popped out. And now we come back to this particular row, which is 2. Again, which is what is the latest statement that I have to execute? I have to execute 6. And again, since there is nothing to execute at statement number 6, so the 2 is also popped out. Now my root becomes 1 again. So my root becomes 1 again. And what is the statement that I have to execute in this case? I have to execute root right. My root is 1. What is the right? 3. So let's draw a new stack. The bottom most we have main. Then we have 1. And since I have already executed statement number 5, next instruction that has to be executed is 6. 
So it will be stored in six here. And now I have called root left. What is root left? So three bits. Good. Now let's come here. Our new root is three. If root is equal to equal to null data, do we have root equal to null? No. So I print root data, which is three. So I print three. And I call pre-order root left. So I call the left child of this particular node. And what is the next statement I have to execute? Five. After this regression is complete, we have to execute five. So I put that I have to execute statement number five after this particular regression is complete. We are clear now. Now we check what is the left null. We don't have any statement. We don't have any node there. So null gets pushed. But if we check that if root is equal to equal to null, return. Yes, root is null. So this is popped out. Now I have to st execute statement number 5 with a root 3. So my root is 3 and I have to execute statement number 5. So this is called three order root right. So what is the right? 7. So 7, 7 is pushed on the stack and this particular statement gets updated to 6. Because this is done, this is done and we have to execute 6 after we come back here. Now 7 is, uh, 7 is pushed in the stack. So our latest stack looks like this. We have main, we have 1, we have 3 which has to execute 6 and we have 7 is the latest one. Now let's see what happens. So after 7 is passed as a root here, we check if root is equal to equal to null. No. So I print the whatever data is there at the root. Since our root is 7, so I print 7. Now I execute pre order root left. So I order call pre order on the left child of this particular node. And I put 5 here because 5 is the next instruction that has to be executed. So since left of 5 is null, sorry, left of 7 is null. Null is pushed and then popped out like here. And then statement number 5 gets executed. Right of this particular node is passed as the root to pre order. Again, since that is null, it comes back. And we know that next statement has to be executed is 6. And since there is no statement that has to be executed, this is popped out. Again, we, then we come to what is the next statement that has to be executed in case of when root is 3, which is 6. And we know that there is no statement at 6. So this is popped from the stack. Now we come to 1. So what is the next statement that has to be executed when root is 1? It is 6, which is obviously a termination statement. So this is popped out. So we can see that we got the result, pre-order traversal result. And this is how the statement report got executed.